There is too much sunlight coming in through the window and it's making me overexposed. <laughs> All right, well, I thought I would um, use this uh, opportunity to uh, respond to Steve's challenge and also to uh, do the judging for my T-shirt contest. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what the hell that accent is supposed to be. That's nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> I can usually do a bit, a bit better than that. That was a bit shiny shoes, Gavina. Um, yeah. So, um, I think who I'm going to have to um give the prize to is Shakespeare's Fool. Um, who did a particularly good, particularly good little poem. <laughs> um, so, um, just hang on a sec and I'll read it out. Okay, so, Shakespeare's Fool's comment, their entry to the t-shirt competition was... Such a fine design would always show what all types of people need to know. I would wear the t-shirt with all my pride, helping to spread this message worldwide. I'd talk, I'll talk to strangers young and old, the power of the message making me bold. I'll tell them the joys of tofu and lentils and share the secrets of beanie burritos. And from this trickle may form a flood, humanity, growing what grows in, humanity eating what grows in the mud. It'll all be down to your t-shirt, you see. That is, of course, if you give it to me. So everyone's entries were awesome, but I don't know. I was just particularly impressed by that for some reason. Um, yeah, so I had to choose someone, and yeah, so I I choose them. So Shakespeare's full. Um, when you see this, oh my hair is being stupid, stupid hair. When when you see this, um, send me a private message with your postal address, and I'll send you the T-shirt off to you as soon as pos. So, yeah. I wish I would have been able to do a better English accent. Um, but today, I seem incapable of it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, Steve, you'll have to be happy with that. That's that's as best I can do. So, yeah. 